So I'm going to give you like quick, a quick, like in 60 seconds, what you need, some of the key things you need to know if you are going to prescribe metformin next week. For those of you who are not already doing it, I, I'll give you some high yield things. Like what do you need to know before, during, and after? So before you prescribe metformin, you should know that it's contraindicated in people above 75 years of age, approximately, like the elderly. And the person should be what I call a walkie-talkie, you know? Mm. Like the person is otherwise, you know, like my outpatients who are uh, around, a person is in heart failure. So I'm gonna assume it's, it's an incredibly safe medication as long as you don't prescribe it to a person who's in renal failure, liver failure, or heart failure, hopefully you won't do that. So you, you, you check, check some basic labs, right? Now, why, you see here vitamin B12 level? The reason we check vitamin B12 level before we start metformin is that it can cause vitamin B12 deficiency in a small percentage. So that's the second thing, you get these labs done. And the third thing you do before you start the metformin is you tell them, listen, don't drink, it's very important that you are avoid heavy alcohol use because there's a dangerous side effect Lactic acidosis can occur. And take a multivitamin that will reduce the chances that you'll develop a B12 deficiency. Maybe not a B12 supplement, but at least a multivitamin. Right, so this is what we do before. And then in terms of treating, there is a little bit of an art to treating with metformin, few things. Usually I start with extended release. People can argue about imitate and extended release, but the important things are, you must, because you know this, right, that a significant percentage of people are unable to take metformin because of what? Diarrhea. Diarrhea. And so, if you can, you have to, we have to be, try our best to not, not let them have diarrhea by doing what? We start with only 500, and we do 500 for a week, 1,000 for a week, 1,500 for a week, and then 2,000. Go to the full dose. And, that's, and also, so that's one, and then second, we tell them, Take it after the largest meal of the day. Some people have a heavy lunch, some people have a heavy dinner and so on. Whatever is the largest meal, take it after that because that seems to really improve the tolerability and increase it slowly. But you must go to 2,000. I see many times people who have given 1,000 and then because it comes in 500, the generic comes in 500 milligram strength, so they kind of stop after they get to 1,000, and then they say it wasn't effective. You really should push everybody, if at all humanly possible, to the full dose. Now, here's a trick. As a general rule, with all medications, including metformin, the extended release releases lower down in the GI tract, right? So it's more likely to cause diarrhea, and the immediate release releases upper, it's more likely to cause nausea. So if the person has diarrhea, you might switch to immediate release so that well, the trade-off is they'll be at more risk of having upper GI side effects, but, but their lower GI will be less. And as we already discussed, you will check vitamin B12 once, once a year. So we talked about before, during, and after, hopefully. I mean, these are the, some of the key things that you need to know to actually be able to prescribe. 